Hello everyone, this is Sam. Today we are going to learn some more concepts in JavaScript. This video lesson will teach you how to create a simple image slider for your web application in JavaScript. Let's create a new folder inside this. This is the 8th video in the series. Resources. And I'm going to move these files inside this directory. Yeah, done. Let's create a new document. Save this inside my dot HTML and my HTML snippet and title. Before diving into the code, let me explain what we exactly going to do in this lesson. I am going to I am going to have this max screen max mac image in this document and i am going to put all my images inside this screen area like this the selected area will contain the images after every three seconds the image will be play, uh, the image will be changed let's add a div element to this document id is max screen And inside this, we are going to have the image container. Let's add some CSS styles here. Style, yeah. Max screen. And we need to set the background image here. Background URL resources mac.png yeah and width of this is 799 pixel height is 609 pixel this is the height and width of the mac image that we are using in this document so i am setting the same height and width for the development tool and our image container we don't know the exact width and height of the screen in the Mac image. So I am going to set some dummy value here. Width is 300 pixel. Height is 300 pixel. And the background color is... I am setting this color to the div to identify the element in the page. Okay. Let's fix the height and width by using developer tools provided by the Chrome browser. Okay, open this document. Okay, before that, we want to place this Mac horizontally, vertically centered to the page. In order to do that, we need to set the position absolute. As I'm repeating in all my videos, absolute is a very powerful type of positioning that allows you to uh, allows you to literally place any page element exactly where you want it. And top fifty percentage lift 50 percentage transform translate x minus 50 percentage translate translate y minus 50 percentage these four lines of code will place the max screen image center to the document let's check this okay now we need to adjust this image container to fit into the screen let's do this so in order to do in order to do that you need to inspect element like this and i'm going to set the margin there margin this is top and this is right this is bottom this is left okay let me adjust the top margin first. Okay, this looks fine. And we need to adjust the left side. It looks fine. And we need to adjust the width of this container. 700. Yeah. This looks good and we need to set the height and 400 
we can have more okay let's update these values in the HTML document 724 10 pixel okay with this 14 this is 720 and we don't need background color margin I think it was 280040 okay 280040 and 40 pixel let's dive into our JS part script let's access the image container first get element by ID and an array to maintain the list of images okay dot jpg sorry jpg These are all the images we are using in this video lesson. You can replace with your own images. Okay. And a variable to track the total number of pictures images dot length. And then variable to track the current image. I'm setting initial value and the function to change the image for in a every three seconds interval change image and image source equal to images of sorry current image this will give us the first image since the initial value of the current image is 0. Array index is always starts from 0 and ends with n-1. In other words, 0th index will have the first value of the array and n-1th index will have the last value of the array. Let's increment the value. Now I am now I'm incrementing the value of the current image. So, it will show you the next image in the next function call. But this statement will not work in all the cases. It will increment from 0 to 1, then 1 to 2, then 2 to 3. See, there is no such index in the array. Since the size of the array is 3, actually the lost index is 2. So the statement is totally wrong for this case. So we need to handle it. So what I'm going to do here is current image equal to current image plus 1 is greater, sorry, if is equal to total pics means it should show the first image which means if the current image plus one equal to total pix means it came to the last point so we need to the, we need to go to the first image then otherwise it can have current image plus one now we need to create the image element and set the image source to it let's create it image container dot sorry this is not image container image container dot inner html equal to image tag image source equal to double quotes and plus image source this will give you the image path and the double quotes should be closed here and a closing tag Finally, we need to set interval to change the image. Set timeout, change image 3000. The set timeout method will call the change image method after every 3000 milliseconds, that is 3 seconds. This piece of code will change the image for every 3 seconds. So, okay. Finally, we need to call the function here change image let's check this out in the browser 
Uh oh. Something is wrong with this. Let's fix this out. Uh oh, there is no image in this path actually. So with the image source we need to include resources. Let's check this out in the browser. Yes. This is what we wanted to create. Additionally, you can add your own animation to this image later that we can see in later video sense. Thanks for watching this video. You can download the source file from the description right below this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you once again. Bye bye.